Hey there, welcome to season five of Ask Simple Shot, and we're here today with you to answer a bunch of questions that you guys submitted to us over the last few weeks. So we're going to start out today's first question with Doug from Charlotte, North Carolina, topic concerning accuracy. Doug asks, what is your estimation for length of accuracy using a plastic slingshot with bands versus a metal frame with tubes? 10 meters, 150 yards, please advise. All right, Doug, what I think you're saying here is what is the capacity or potential for accuracy for a slingshot with flat bands versus a slingshot with tubes. So let's back up here. The construction of the slingshot itself has zero bearing on potential capacity for accuracy. Flat bands are generally going to give you higher velocity with less pull weight. Less pull weight is going to allow you to be more accurate. Uh, if you're not shaking under the load, you're probably going to be able to put your shots on target much more efficiently. So whether you're shooting at 10 meters or 150 yards, flat bands are probably going to be your better choice for top accuracy. As it regards a plastic slingshot with flat bands and a metal slingshot with tubes, I think what you're comparing there is what you're seeing on our website, uh, say a Scout with flat bands versus a wrist rocket. If you've never shot a Scout with flat bands or any flat band slingshot and you're coming from the point of view of a wrist rocket where it's got really heavy tubes, you may be thinking that the, the flat bands may be heavy as well. But that's the sweet spot for flat bands. They're lighter weight, you get great velocity, you're not shaking under the pressure. Therefore, you have more potential for great accuracy, whether it be 10 meters or 150 yards. So I hope that answers your question, Doug. Thanks for asking.